my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited and here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. We're going to start with the Euro dollar up there. An indecisive spinning top on Friday as prices halted at the combination of the middle time of the 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork currently at 118.87 and the seemingly lightweight lesser fib congestion at 118.97 and 118.87. Above we still have the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 119.3 quarters and below the strong looking moving average currently at 118.62. We still have target X in the 118.05 area. This is the target for the action over 2020 so far, 2021 so far, being a sort of halfway hesitation. Now one final point. Last week I pointed out what seems to be the beginnings of late February until today, possible bear flag. This bear flag, if that is what it turns out to be, is developing nicely. So far today, Indecision around the middle tine and the lesser Fibonacci layer areas, both specifically around 118.87 today. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A second bearish black crow on Friday and a suitable follow on to the previous session's bearish dark cloud cover pattern. The top of the recent action still hangs on the clothesline resistance. That is the supremely important middle time currently 140.08 of the late June, late September 2020 bullish shift pitchfork. Now this middle time along with the lower time below which is currently at 135.49 have given the bullish angle of attack of this market uh, since September last year. Below we now have the rising short medium moving average that's currently at 138.04 and its partner the start of the November 2020 to date uptrend currently at 137.91 both entering the frame. This recent action pushes the idea of a small very small reverse head and shoulders pattern building up over March into retirement. So far today a small dip lower and a continuation from the recent fall tentatively approaching the short medium moving average and associated uptrend but shying away from testing it. Right now this is no portent for the future but it does look like a dragonfly doji. Euro sterling. A day of justs and almosts on Friday. A reactionary end of the week bullish engulfing pattern. Just. That was almost a key reversal up and a weekly key reversal down but only just as well. All this is still about how the market approaches the now three targets below. Target X2 for the second quarter of 2020's head and shoulders top. That's in the 85.15 area and target X1 in the 84.75 area. The target for the recent sideways triangle. Finally target X3 in the 84.5 area for the recent possible descending triangle pattern. We've been waiting for a while now and patients have been wearing thin, a bit thin, due to lack of progress lower. The only issue is that target X3, you see, descending triangles can break either way, though they tend ever so slightly to be bullish in breakout. That being said, this does not look like a reversion to an attempted break upwards as yet. So far today, small move back up, but surprisingly capped by the short moving average. That's current overhead, that's currently at 86.01 before moving back down to unchanged on the day right now. US dollar against the Indian rupee. An immediate countering bearish harami and bearish closing black marabozo on Friday. The top was capped, well, sort of, by the 50% Fibonacci line of July 2019 to April 2020 move at 72.64. And a downtrend of the, well, it's currently at 72.55, of the recent March based descending triangle. This counters the idea of a false break upwards from this descending triangle pattern, well, for now. Below the September 2019 high at 72.41, provided the base of the action. 
Now I haven't drawn a topside target for the descending triangle but below we have a preliminary target X in the 7205 area which lines up with the February 2020 high. A full optimal target X1 would be in the 7120 area. There is one issue. It may be that the descending triangle pattern may be morphing into another pattern for all this recent action. A possible falling wedge pattern perhaps? I haven't marked it as yet on my daily chart but I'm keeping an eye on it. So far today, moving down from the September high right now, neither adding nor taking away from the descending triangle idea. Testing the lows though. US dollar against the Brazilian real. A third bearish black crow on Friday and a rejection of the possible bull hammer action seen in the previous session. The market dropped down once again through the interesting lesser 38.2% Fibonacci line at 552.90. Now this lesser Fibonacci line provided the flat trend line necessary for the recent bullish ascending triangle. The drop continued down through the mid-January today uptrend currently at 550.38. This was the lower trend line for the very same bullish and ascending triangle. However, and it is a big however, the market reverted, stalled at the combination of the rising short medium moving average currently at 545.85 and the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 544.41. It reverted back up to close ever so slightly under the uptrend. Finally, a point I made late last week. The action from two weeks ago until now is suspiciously starting to look like a bear flag pattern. Just keep an eye open for that especially as we have some seemingly heavy duty support below from the long moving average currently at 540.36, the medium moving average currently 537.41 and the 50% Fibonacci on the May to June 2020 move of 539.29. US dollar against the Mexican peso. An indecisive doji cross on Friday. This, it seems, the recent bearishness has finally hit a hard edge as it was not only this pattern but also with the support of the combination of the rising short stroke medium moving average currently at 20.31.20 and the mid January to date uptrend currently at 20.34 even. Now these, well specifically the uptrend is now a three pointer. Meanwhile. We still have the same cap on the market, the previously highlighted support, now resistance of the combined lesser Fibonacci level at 20, 60, 62 and the more importantly, the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 20, 58, 49. Now so far today, a big move higher, opening well over the resistance at 20, 60, 62 and 20, 58, 49. Dropping down to test it as support, finding it good and moving back up, admittedly to unchanged. But interestingly capped by the short moving average right now, uh, that's currently at 20, 80, 90, or 21, 20, 81 even if you like. Overhead we have the slowly declining long moving average currently at 21.07.35, though this is not as strong as it may appear. Just take a look back to last week. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.